The legends of King Arthur are some of the most enduring stories in Western literature and culture, blending history, myth, and folklore. Arthur is portrayed as the once and future King of Britain, a heroic figure who led his knights of the round table in quests for justice, honor, and the mystical Holy Grail. However, despite the fantastical elements that surround the tales of Arthur, there is an ongoing debate about whether any historical basis exists for this legendary figure. The Arthurian myths as we know them today took shape in the medieval period, particularly from the 12th century onward, through literary works such as Geoffrey of Monmouth's Historia Regum Britanniae, History of the Kings of Britain, circa 1136. This text brought King Arthur into the literary mainstream, weaving tales of his birth, rise to power, his court at Camelot, and his battles against Saxon invaders. Geoffrey's work drew on earlier Welsh and Breton stories, but also embellished the tale, contributing greatly to Arthur's mythic stature. Another critical development in Arthurian legend came with the French writer Crétine de Troyes in the 12th century, who introduced elements like the quest for the Holy Grail and the love affair between Lancelot and Guinevere. One of the central questions around Arthur is whether he was based on a real historical figure. There are no contemporary records that definitively identify a historical King Arthur, but some scholars have suggested that the legend may be based on a composite of early medieval figures, particularly warlords or kings who fought against Saxon invaders after the fall of Roman Britain in the 5th and 6th centuries. Ambrosius Aurelianus is one such figure. Mentioned by Gildas, a 6th century monk and chronicler, Ambrosius is described as a leader of the Britons in the fight against the Saxons. His victories in battle, especially at the Battle of Badon Hill, have been linked by some to the later stories of Arthur. The historian Nennius, writing in the 9th century, also described a British warrior named Arthur who fought in several battles, including at Badon Hill. However, Nennius' account is not universally accepted as reliable, and no clear contemporary evidence of Arthur as a historical figure exists. Lucius Artorius Castus, a Roman military commander from the 2nd century CE, has also been suggested as a possible inspiration. Some historians speculate that legends of his military exploits in Britain might have influenced later stories, especially considering the close proximity in time between the end of Roman rule and the supposed era of Arthur. The Arthurian legends likely reflect the turmoil and instability of post-Roman Britain. After the Roman withdrawal in the early 5th century, Britain faced invasions from various groups, particularly the Angles, Saxons, and Jutes. It is possible that stories of a great leader uniting the Britons to defend against these threats were rooted in collective memory or wishful thinking. Arthur, therefore, could have symbolized the hope for a powerful, just leader in a time of chaos. Moreover, the legends incorporate earlier Celtic traditions and myths. The concept of a heroic figure with magical or divine elements was not new to British mythology, and Arthur's story may have evolved from such traditions. For instance, Arthur's association with Avalon, a mythical island, and his magical sword Excalibur likely drew from pre-Christian Celtic myths of enchanted warriors and otherworldly realms. By the Middle Ages, the Arthurian story had grown far beyond any potential historical basis. Writers such as Thomas Mallory, whose Le Mort d'Arthur, 1485, became one of the most influential versions of the tale, laid the myth with courtly love, chivalry, and Christian symbolism. The character of Merlin, Arthur's wizard advisor, as well as the love triangle between Arthur, Guinevere, and Lancelot, and the quest for the Holy Grail, are all later embellishments that reflect the medieval ideals of knighthood and virtue, rather than historical realities. The figure of King Arthur stands at the crossroads between history and myth. While there is no definitive proof that Arthur ever existed as a historical figure, the legends likely emerged from a combination of Celtic traditions, post-Roman British struggles, and medieval embellishments. The stories of Arthur, his knights, and the magical elements that surround them continue to capture the imagination, because they speak to timeless themes of leadership, justice, and the quest for something greater. Regardless of the truth behind the myth, Arthur remains a powerful symbol of British cultural heritage.